arrived at your destination, Bloom Complex. All this time she's been holed up in Bloom. Ever since Larson sold, well, me, to Bloom, she's maintained close ties with the company. This just gets better and better. Place is massive. We've got to narrow down the search, yeah? Maybe jack into their server banks. I'm all over it. I'm quite excited to share this with you, the Board of Directors. The facility will be an extension of my quantum computing lab and will house certain other endeavors that I prefer not to share during this presentation. This is valuable real estate you have under your feet. It's as if you've been waiting for me to put it to good use. What's this thing Larson's got with secret underground facilities, I swear? Get down there, fam. Find a lift. wants a kiss. Check neural upload status. 90%, not good enough. Load processor temperature. Hey, guys. So, uh, Sky Larson is uploading herself. Jesus, fuck, she's a few minutes away from immortality. If you don't kill her upload, we'll have no way of stopping her or Daybreak. I've had about enough of this.
Corbett's disentangling connections rebooted. This isn't an accident. What are you doing? Redirecting memory access. You should have stayed away. You are making the biggest mistake of your life, and you will pay dearly for it. Stop, come on. Please. Before it's too late. Restart upload. Come on, restart upload. Security to the quantum lab. Security to the quantum lab. Code red. Listen to me. What you saw in my lab, that was nothing more than the early stages of a very important experiment. It may not be pleasant, but Daybreak is the future of the human species. The only future, really. Look around. Corruption, climate change, nuclear war. Humanity is doomed to self-destruction, but Daybreak can change that. Help me bring about the next stage of human evolution. We can save lives. We can ascend. That's sec, are you seeing all this? She's dying. You brought a friend. Everyone you killed and tortured. All of that was to save your sorry life. You're pathetic! This isn't about me. With our minds in the cloud, humanity can endure any natural disaster. We can be safe, free, and happy forever. I don't give a shit about humanity. You're a psycho brat who wants what she wants, and fuck everyone else, including your mother. You still have time to make things right. Reactivate my upload. Let me live so I can continue my work. Me, you can't believe a single thing she says. Now shut down her life support and finish this. Whatever you decide, 
She can't stop you. I can't stop you. The choice is yours. Please. Don't. Please. Don't do this to me. left to do now but take a few selfies with the corpse quickly though security's on the way be careful that sound. It's not too late to give up. Stop. Sky Larson got the wretch treatment. Thank fuck. One less liar in the world. Still, though, I can't help but think of those AI she created. Lobotomized, enslaved, shit. Anything you need to get done, you can count on us, okay? And hey, if you ever end up in San Francisco and need to couch surf, give me a call. Don't get soft on me now. This was a professional arrangement. Let's keep it that way. Laters.
Hey, soft air. You must be rubbing off on me, cos... I just wanted to say... You did good back there. I'm glad to know I can trust you lot. You're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. I'll be out there, fighting the good fight. Hope I'll see you out there too. Laters. Putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombing. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. <laughs> Which means we're gonna fuck him up good. Hit him right in his little bangers in mash. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we could find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. That's suspicious, right? Is that suspicious? It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Balaji. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. AI giant Broker Tech announced today that they are cancelling Daybreak, the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen. Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. And now we get the snoop on him. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. And they call me paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Gotcha. <sighs>
traps here to murder Joe Pesci. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. I got this. Welcome to Claire and present danger, and welcome to fascist London. Don't let that... Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Muscle Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, no exploding. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Do I look like Albion? Come on, guess again. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Hey, would you, would you listen for one second? Albion knows you're in London. You need to run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Oh, we know. Why else would I be out here risking my delicate backside? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Listen, dude, you hate Cass, we hate Cass. He tried to kill us, he's trying to kill you. Let's work together. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck. Think, Amish. Think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Found him. No!
suspect. Excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If Dead Sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them, or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Yo! You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Uh, yeah. That's why we're going in. Cass is about to unveil some major tech at his big meeting, and I don't think it's a new kind of electric toothbrush. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place? Quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. I see. Send me their details. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. So, how do we convince one of these wannabe army men to join DedSec? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity's much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Hey, welcome to the team. Thanks, I'm ready to bring real justice where it's needed. Sweet. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken-by-the-system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look.
Seems that manky little nerd was the one who kept diverting relief supplies away from the borough to keep everyone in line for Albion. These days you could do a lot more evil with a spreadsheet than a drone fleet. Wonderful. Someone saying dead sick. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have more. This door clearly requires a security pass. Wonderful. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. You know, he hates out. Yeah, I know what you mean. But there's always It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Show me. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania, edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Jesus Christ, me have issues, but this, this is our next level, you know. Them choose him, are all people to secure London? Blood clot. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. I was just chatting too much, and I wasn't hearing anyone else. How's it going? How are you getting on with those methods? The deadline is coming up. We wouldn't do to that. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up, then the whole project... Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. 
These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. No, <laughs> oh, it's all right. The Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. A building-wide security sweep has been initiated Everybody, due to here. talking. Breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit. The catacombs, fam. You an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. But in control, that was for effect, but also to get results. 
to get Themis launched as soon as possible. top secret project is an automated killing machine and it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch we have to get Themis out of his hands I'll prepare a briefing will we see you there Hamish pretty face not risking remember but patch me in you and me got some scheming to do Bagley Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. But that shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. Ah, to bypass Titus security. Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys.